Hi, I'm about to start rearranging the keys on this Axis keyboard by See Through Music because I want to play the Bull and Pierce scale and the way the keys are arranged now has to do with the standard Western 12 tone tuning. The Axis comes with the black keys on the same note values where they fall on a traditional piano keyboard. The layout of the piano keyboard is based around a C major scale or Ionian mode where the notes of the mode fall on the white keys. Of course this mode is a subset of the full number of keys per octave. The first inventor of the Bolin Pure Scale, Heinz Bolin, came up with his own unique keyboard layout in the early 1970s and built a hardware keyboard to play the music in this scale. It was based on one of the modes he came up with and arranged the black keys and some of the keys are yellow to the notes that don't fall in that mode. In my research at NYU I came up with my own Bolin Pure Scale keyboard layout based on a different mode than Heinz Bolin used called Lambda Mode, so my keyboard layout was slightly different than his. Mine has groups of four black keys together repeating across the keyboard, slightly farther apart than on a traditional piano keyboard. Heinz Bolin and I became friends shortly after I started my research, so he saw my keyboard idea, and he actually agreed that my keyboard layout might make more sense than his. Yay! So I definitely know that at the very least I want the black keys to fall on certain notes, according to my Bolin Pure Skill keyboard layout. And I want the dark blue keys on the axis to fall on the tritives, just as they fall on the octaves for the 12 tone tuning. So for now, I'll play some bowl and pure scale music that I composed way back in 1991 while I sit here and rearrange the keys. No, 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 no. I was finally able to get the keys rearranged once Baloney stopped helping so much. I'll show the results and talk about the juicy details about this wonderfully harmonic tuning in the next video, and I'll also tell the amazing and bittersweet saga of the two microwave engineers who invented it independently six years apart.